Okay, so I, this was very last minute and I decided to just kind of do this, but I thought I'd give you guys a little insight to why I actually stopped lashing while I get ready for the day because I honestly always have to come to the office and do my makeup because I just don't end up getting to do it at home. So long story short, I stopped lashing because I basically just don't have the time. As much as I love being a lash artist, as much as I love um, you know, servicing clients. I did do it since 2016 and um, I got really busy and I got super into it. I absolutely love doing it and it made me realize like I think at the time too when I started lashing I didn't really know what my passion was. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with lashing or anything for that matter. Um, so I kind of just rolled with it and I was like you know it'll come and then we obviously started Flourish Lashes and I kind of thought you know products, sales and like YouTube would be, you know, where I found my my most, I guess, like happiness. But it wasn't even that. I realized that my, I guess, like my goal and you know where I want to go with things is truly education, and that's what I basically kind of stopped lashing for, um, because it's been so great watching this industry evolve, watching, you know. YouTube evolve and lashing, and you know, seeing all these people, all these lash artists. Is, change and you know try to do better and add something to the industry and I love that and I think that that being said now I don't necessarily need to contribute to that aspect of the industry and I think that what I want to do now is address that issue of or that stigma of bad lash training and that's kind of where my whole heart has been recently and it's been something I've been talking about for quite some time as well just because it's been an entire process dealing with, you know, people commenting on my videos and this has been a long time coming, right? Cause people comment on my videos, people, I do consultation calls and it's all about, oh, um, I didn't learn this or my training was so bad and da 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 da. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I totally understand that. And I think that we are so quick to blame the trainers, but I, I get it. The trainers are the ones teaching, but at the same time, how did they learn, right? Like, what did they learn from? Because a lot of times people don't really know what they're doing when they're training. They're just, you know, jumping into it. And one thing that I have definitely learned is that most of the industry, well, the education industry, is just good lash artist training. And that's the worst possible thing because being an educator and being a trainer and teaching somebody something isn't just a copy and paste. It's not a cookie cutter situation and it's not like, because I'm good at something, I can show you how to do it. Yeah, sure that works, but when we're dealing with, you know, high numbers in terms of charging a lot and we're dealing with, you know, people's livelihoods, you have to have some strategy behind that. And you also have to understand what's gonna work and what isn't gonna work because one thing I think people fail to understand is that everybody learns very differently from one another and most of these trainings are very cookie cutter and they're kind of all the same and they just basically mimic what that particular lash artist is doing and they're very biased and that's like the biggest thing I hate is these biased trainings because I notice too when a lot of people train or I get a lot of feedback from other artists about their training, the one thing I hear people say a lot is, well, she said, I do this and I do that and I like this and I like that. And that's like the worst possible way to train someone because then you're not really training them or educating them. You're just kind of showing them what you do. And that's not fair to the, the student because they're not getting a full, well-rounded experience because how do you know what you do is gonna work for somebody else? My goal is to fully understand teaching methods. It's to fully understand why people resonate with a certain style versus another and really understand how somebody's characteristics or somebody's um, social cues or their just engagement level will actually have them absorb a certain amount of information versus not. So that's why I wanted to kind of stop lashing on the whole and contribute to the lash industry in like a different manner, if that makes sense. So another thing too is like, of course, like, you know what, my goal is to obviously help the lash industry. I want to make sure that the new generation of lash artists is very well taken care of and they can, they can contribute afterwards, right? But I think like one of the biggest things that have changed for me personally is my mindset very recently. Um, I guess like within the last, I would say this summer was very like revolutionary for me, I don't know. I think that this summer I changed a ton and even when I look at myself from like last summer to this summer, I feel like I'm just like a completely different person and it's not that I like 
fully intended it to be that way. I think that I was just really fed up of not pulling through for myself in the sense that I just never held myself accountable in any way, shape or form. And I would try to focus on one aspect of my life and then not focus on others. And I would try this, you know, balance mentality or, you know, try to, I guess, like have everything, but that's just not how it works. I think that what I've learned in the past few months is that First of all, I already kind of knew this, but there's just no balance and balance is just non-existent and you have to prioritize the things that are meaningful to you in the moment and it's going to change. Like things are going to change and priorities are going to change and that's totally fine. And just because you can't prioritize something right now doesn't mean you're never going to prioritize it. It just means that right now is not the right time to prioritize something that isn't going to necessarily push you forward to where you want to go right now. There's just a season for things, you know, and that's what I'm learning. And I'm learning that we are also easily influenced by i guess like things that seem entertaining or seem fun in the moment and it's like that short-term gratification and we really need to focus on being disciplined a little bit more and that's something that i'm working on and for me my weakest point and i think it was when i realized what one of my weakest weakest points were and it's really holding myself accountable and really coming through for myself. And it has nothing to do with literally anybody else but myself. It's just a matter of me saying I'm gonna do something and then actually doing it. And once I shifted that and I said, you know what, let me just try it. Like what's gonna, who is it gonna harm? It's only gonna do me justice. So let me just go for it. And once I started doing that, I completely shifted so much like my entire world looks different now and it's because I shifted it in one aspect of my life and then it kind of fell into place in other aspects of my life and now I feel I actually feel so like full like I feel very I don't want to say content because I feel like that's like a very simplistic word and it's also very like mild and mediocre and I don't feel like that I feel more than that like I feel above average in how I feel about myself and the things that I'm doing and the things that I'm producing so and I think it has to come down to me holding myself accountable and that's why I also feel like me creating this program like timing is everything so me even coming out with this education side I think like I think timing is just everything because I was able to not half-ass this I was able to kind of put my all into it and I was able to really sit down and just pour everything into it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm literally pouring so much into it. And not only is it on a lashing perspective or like a lash program or anything like that, it's myself. Like I have never been so excited to learn about myself and learn about the things that I'm fully capable of and learn about just growing myself in general. And that's what I've been doing. I've been literally listening to audibles, all the time because I realized that as much as I want to read and as much as I want to take the time and carve out the time to do that, it is a bit challenging. So instead of just giving it up altogether, I decided that the best way to incorporate that was audibles. So I started listening to audibles very recently and it's changed my life. And I'm so excited for the next coming months because I can see a huge difference in myself mentally, physically, emotionally in the past couple months and I just can't wait to see what's happening in the next few months and it's crazy because LashCon is actually coming up next week and I, this is something I'm going to talk about a little bit more after but I was actually talking to Josh and I was telling him how I want to do a video on this because going into LashCon last year was my first time going to LashCon but I remember feeling so different about myself. I had that imposter syndrome, I had that fear of being there and like feeling like I just didn't belong and what the hell was I doing there and why do I have a brand behind me and like I don't know I just felt so I guess like not worthy and this year I do not feel that way and I think it comes down to my overall worth work ethic I think we try so many different things to get rid of that imposter syndrome but I think for me personally it came down to accountability educating myself because all of those things made me so confident in what I know and what I'm doing. And I can honestly say that I know I can help people. And I know that going into LashCon, I cannot wait to meet people. I cannot wait for people to ask me questions. I can't wait for all that stuff because I definitely feel like I belong. And I don't think that's coming from a place of being cocky or anything like that. It's coming from a place of 
being, holding myself accountable for the things I said I was gonna do, feeling confident in what I know, and being able to share that. Like, I just think it's a gift that I can find that for myself, and I want others to know that, and I want others to see that in themselves, and if I can help put them in that position, then I, I'm doing more than I could ever imagine. And no, I don't have eyelash extensions on because I just don't have time right now. But I will get them. Right now I'm really into the individuals, like the, I don't know, like, I don't know what you, I, I think they're called individuals, right? The ones that you put underneath your, your eyes. I'm very into those and I really like those and I feel like they're, my eyes are so sensitive so that it gives me the look without, um, making my eyes water or irritating my eyes. Because even strip lashes bother me very, very frequently. So wearing strips can absolutely be a no-no for me, along with extensions. Like, it's just a whole mess. So mascara it is. So it turns out I actually had my lip liner. I just didn't realize. So I had to redo that situation. Okay. Whew. Okay, so I am done. But anyways, I really just wanted to jump on here and give you guys a little bit of, I guess, like a personal update because I haven't really talked much about, you know, where I'm going, how I've changed, and um, yeah, so I thought I would do that. But that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope you got some insight from it, and I hope that it helps you on your last journey or even your, you know, personal journey. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned because, like I said, my new program is going to be coming out soon so keep updated between youtube and my instagram go and follow at ariella i will leave them in the description as well as flourish lashes i will put all the updates in there and you guys will be the first to know so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll be back with something next time bye